Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> so thanks for sitting down with us. Yeah. Um, we're excited to have you here. Um, have you played at Jam and Java before? Yeah, I played a few times. Played a few times. This is once again acoustic, awesome. uh, which is awesome. However, uh, I'm coming back in December with the band, yeah, I saw which that. will be which will be like. It's weird. I was in Boston last night, and I've played at a couple venues around sure. the East Coast and in the Northeast where, just by happenstance, uh, I've played acoustic, and I haven't been able to bring the band. Sure. So, which is a little bit of a bummer because my my songs are always. I mean, I write them with the acoustic guitar, but they really I hear all the stuff in my head with the band first. Um, it just so happens I've played a lot of acoustic shows the last couple of years. And I saw the tour that you're coming back for um, in December is like a green. Tour. Yeah, it's 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 honestly it's like a brainchild that I had. I'm from Oklahoma, right? And you know, my granddad's an oil man. Most right. everybody in Oklahoma uh, is you know it's it's a big oil town. Sure. Uh, but you know, there's changes that have to be made with cleaner energy, yeah. natural gas. So there's a there's a there's a company that I've partnered with um, that is kind of quite honestly like the country's leader in natural gas production okay um, and it's just something I just was like you know like I'm still a small artist I can't right. change the world by myself but I just was like you know I tour in planes trains automobiles buses everything and if I can do a little something and maybe educate people of like well what if I you know what if I just toured all on natural gas so I, I'm gonna do it it's cool so I got a car that runs on natural gas and I'm gonna calculate the miles, calculate the money saved. Awesome. And you know, limit my ego it's footprint. So experiment. Yeah, I mean, it's just something. I I don't know, man. It's just I'm I've definitely I don't know. Call it getting older and wiser. <laughs> I just I want to stand for more than just my twelve songs on an album. Sure. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so you're go you're and as part of that tour, or maybe the tour is in part as part of the <laughs> re-release or. Release it's the sequel. It's of yeah. The album. It's a lot of stuffs going on. Um, it, I'm, it, it's like it's the perfect storm of just kind of like I'm independent artist again. I'm an independent artist again, and um, I've got this tour that's called the Go Natural Tour, and I had some new songs. Yeah, I'm playing with the band again, which we sort of have interpreted the new songs a little bit differently. Awesome. So I've started cool. to. I don't know. I just I got in the studio. I, I took my band has a runs and operates a great studio in Norman okay. called Blackwatch Studios. Oh, cool. and, you know, we rehearse there, we record there, um, and I just was like, look, I want to release this stuff. Yeah. So the tour came along and I just kind of said, well, let's let's re-release the album and offer yeah. six new tracks. Awesome. Yeah, and I had first heard about it um, and, and downloaded the Noise Trade. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Is that yeah. like, how has that, and, and we've connected with a bunch of different artists from Noise right. Trade, so how has that, um, like, what was the decision like to say, let's just put it on Noise Trade and give it away? Again, I, I just feel like um, I've been really fortunate to um, be a, a product of the old model yeah. of the music business. Yeah. You know, I, I, I've had the big record deal, great experience, some some so-so sure. experiences, <laughs> but more more great than, than, sure. than, uh, than not. Um, but I just think, man, it's all changing, yeah. you know? And, uh, I think this day and age, you've got to do what you got to do to get your music heard. And since I don't have major marketing, yeah. and I don't have, um, um, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars being pumped into sure. to advertising and stuff, I just feel like whatever way people are going to get my music, it'll it'll come out in the wash. Yeah. I hope they come to a show. I hope they buy a T-shirt if they get the, the CD for right. free. And so I just my, my 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 thinking is just embrace it. You know. Yeah, I think that like for us. For us especially, Noise Trade has been a good way for like to find out about bands that I would never, we would never yeah. heard of before. Well, and that's how I started. I mean, I'm still playing songs live, you know, ten years later that I wrote in high school that ended up on Napster. So yeah. I can't really say, <laughs> well, you know, I wish they wouldn't download my people wouldn't download sure. my music for free because really that's how I got my start. Sure. You know. So what uh, what's it been like touring with Ben and and how oh, it's is like great. co headlining. Yeah. The uh no 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 actually I will I will correct you it's not co-headline he he is just killing it right now nice. I'm honored to be the acoustic opener it's awesome um, yeah the album is great the new album is great yeah he's he's great he's um we run in the same circles my uh, uh, co-producer um, 
Chad Copeland is playing in his band. Nice. Chad plays in my band. Awesome. So it's a very just kind of friendly thing. I got the opportunity to do two weeks with Ben, and I said absolutely. I got to ride in the band. That's great. Just my acoustic guitar and some CDs in a box. And um, now the the hard part and the exciting part is I'm gonna turn right back around and do my own headline right. tour in a lot of these same rooms. Right. So, you know, my attitude, which I think has been, uh, well. The past couple of years, um, call it the major label process or not, I just haven't played as much as I really wanted sure. to. So I've really made a dedication to play anywhere and everywhere. And these shows came up, so I said yes, and pretty much every show has been sold out. Yeah, That's you get it, it's a different, you're playing in different venues, you're getting a different crowd than you would in the... Yeah, like and it's nice. Place. I mean, my fans show up, and his fans show up, and to be honest, I mean, it... it it feels like it did back in 03 and 04. Yeah. You know, which is cool. You know, it's like I, whether I like it or not, there's a lot of kids out there that are freshmen yeah. in college, <laughs> seniors in high school that haven't heard my music. Yeah. So my thing is, if, if I can play for these, these kids, I'll, I, I want to do that. Awesome. Um, one of the questions that we've asked a lot of different people that we've talked to is what the songwriting process looks like for you. So do yeah. you, um, write the music first and then the lyrics, or the lyrics and then the music, or? It's, it's right. different, really, every time. I mean, whenever, I, I do know, usually, whenever I try to sit and write yeah. a song, like pencil, paper, Definitely. red wine, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that looks like, it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, it usually finds me, sort of, in a way. I mean, yeah. Pacific Coast Eyes, which is the title track off my new album, I wrote that in the rental car in Los Angeles nice. on my phone. <laughs> like, I had a little voice thing, you know? Yeah. I had the you know like this, a voice note I had this ba 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 part and I sang that and then I would it's it's weird you know sometimes some of my some of my better songs that I think I've written were without an instrument I yeah. just the melody comes just and pops then, into your head but but it's weird because I do feel like more times than none I will kind of write the melody and just words will start to appear uh, yeah. and I'll sort of start mumbling and whatever feels natural for me <laughs> to enunciate sure. becomes the words. Sure. And do you, um, when you're on the road and like playing with other people, do you ever, like, so you're with Ben for two weeks, mm -hmm. do you ever like guys say like, let's write something? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, yeah. I mean, I definitely, if it's organic, you know, it sure. always has to stay. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of downtime and a lot of time listening yeah. to music in the band and sound checks and trying new stuff yeah. and I, yeah I think that's that's an awesome thing. Speaking of which, what is on the radio in the van when you're driving? You well, drove from Boston Nothing's today? on the radio, you know that these <laughs> well, days. Well, that's true. What's in the... Uh, I would say the, uh, what were we listening to not too long ago? Well, we all we all love the new Need to Breathe record. So we, we just reviewed that. it and it, it, yeah. uh, I just, it's so awesome. Yeah. And there was one of my questions was like, yeah. Ben's opening for them a couple right. times and yeah. you've opened for sure. them in the past. Yeah. Um, What's like? I just whenever I hear them, it's just such a and they keep the show keeps growing and growing like and growing. yeah. It's just unbelievable. well, I mean I've known those guys for almost ten years now. Yeah. And um, to say that I respect them is such an understatement yeah. because those guys have just truly dedicated themselves yeah. to to slugging it out. And not I saw only, them, not I saw them outside there. of Cleveland in like a like a venue like this. Yeah. And it was just the sound was just too big. Like yeah. for the small venue. Yeah. And the and not only play. like is, are, yeah, is, does their talent speak for right. itself, but it, but it's just their work ethic and their connection with their fans yeah. is really just something that I just am so in awe. Well, of. they're they're touring with Taylor Swift. Yeah. And I went on the website and was looking at the tour dates, and it's like every day that they're not with Taylor Swift, they're yeah. playing by themselves somewhere. And it's like yeah. these guys I mean, they're, they're guys are machines. It's unbelievable. They're machines. I, I remember you know those guys came through Oklahoma City, which is my hometown. I mean, God, four or five years ago. Yeah. Maybe four years ago. And you could tell it was just starting to really kind of happen. Yeah. You know, it was kind of just starting to where it was. And we we've had endless conversations just about how you, you know they had to spend two three years. In, yeah. in rooms that were less than 100 people for a couple of years yeah. to, to just kind of stand on their own two feet as sure. like headliners, sure. you know? And I've been such an opener guy for the last, you know, long part of my career. I'm, I'm starting to do that myself. Yeah. To really try to, you know, after this tour with Ben will be the time where I'm going to really try to stand on my own two feet awesome. and headline as much as I can. Are you 
get, is there somebody that's going to be touring with you, or is it going to be different people um, from all over? Matthew Mayfield is going to be opening oh, awesome. a bunch of the shows. Awesome. We're actually going to hopefully get a chance to talk to him when he opens he's, the he's, degree. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a big, uh, yeah, it's a big happy family. That's here. great. Yeah. Um, he's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And we did a feature on him, and he's he's just one of those artists that. Um, you can't yeah. say enough about. I know. Yeah. So. It, there's honestly that's the most exciting thing about I think where, you know, you look at what Ben's doing and Need to Breathe and and what I'm attempting to do is is there's just a lot of exciting music out there that sure. some people know about but the majority of people don't. Yeah. And um, but it it really feels kind of like there's this I don't know not necessarily like a scene but is this definitely a a group of us and bands that yeah. I feel like we all love each other and we're all in support of each Great. other and and um, you know it, it feels really good awesome well thanks for yeah taking the time to sit down with us and uh, we look forward to coming back and seeing you again in December cheers so uh, great yeah, looking forward to the show yeah, <laughs> thanks thank you